Praise be Jesus Christ. I don't know all the realities around the recent new kind of restrictions of traditional Latin Catholicism. I do know that I sympathize with my traditional Latin Catholic friends uh, for a number of reasons. And some people might be surprised because they'll say, hey, like you're a conservative charismatic priest. You're not a traditional Latin mass priest. So why are you tending to sympathize with the traditional Latin mass Catholics? Well, I'll give you four reasons. The first reason is right now, there's so much confusion. And even within the church, sometimes it seems like some forces in the church are wanting to move from the rock foundation of the word of God to shifting sands. A clear example of that is not too long ago in Germany, there was a day when many priests had a day of blessing sinful partnership situations and almost nothing was done about it by the authorities of the church. And you need to understand what it's like, especially for a younger devout Catholic who wants to follow Jesus faithfully when stuff like that goes on it feels like they're on shifting sands, so what are they gonna do? They're gonna seek rock solid foundation. And right now, the traditional Latin mass Catholics are really standing for the orthodox truths of the Catholic faith given to us by the Lord Jesus, handed on in scripture by the apostles and passed on throughout the tradition of the church. And even me as a, as a charismatic priest, my preaching has to have a rock foundation to stand on. And that's God's word. And in Matthew chapter um, 7, the Lord Jesus says, Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. It's too much confusion in the church. Too much weird stuff being overlooked. And you wonder why pious, devout young Catholics are going towards the rock foundation of orthodox doctrine that they find in traditional Latin Catholicism. Okay, the second reason I sympathize with traditional Latin Catholicism is, and the traditional Latin Catholics, they're not going to like this analogy, and it's just an analogy, but say the Ford Motor Company. I was visiting the Ford Company in Detroit a few years ago, and they have a beautiful museum with some of the old original Ford cars. And oh, it's, it's magnificent. Now, can you imagine someone from Ford said, you know what, this is taking too much space. These are old junky cars. Scrap the cars, throw them on the, the, the uh, heap of, of iron to be crushed and sent off to the, to the melting place. You would be, don't you dare. Don't take our original classic cars and just scrap them. This is part of who we are. And, and again, I know the analogy is imperfect. I'm not saying traditional Latin Catholicism, what's found in there is old antiques. But the point is, is even as a charismatic conservative Catholic, I love, I love the tradition of the church and I don't like to see it scrapped and I like to see it preserved. Okay, the third reason is in, Acts, in the Acts of the Apostles, when the, the, the religious leaders were wondering what to do with these new apostles who were preaching Jesus, Gamaliel speaks up and he says, So now I tell you, have nothing to do with these men, and let them go. For if this endeavor or this activity is of human origin, it will destroy itself. But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them. You may even find yourself fighting against God. And right now, there is a phenomena. A phenomena, a lot of Catholics, including young Catholics, they're attracted to traditional Latin mass Catholicism. And I know some of these people. Some of them are also prominent on social media because they love their faith so much, they're willing to proclaim it. They're not ashamed of the gospel. They have influence, good people. They love the church, they love the Pope, they love the saints, they love the classics of the spiritual life, they love the Lord. And it, it, to me, if there's a phenomena of them being attracted to, to traditional Latin mass Catholicism, let's wait and see. 
where this is going, what happens. Don't, don't be too quick to crush it. And then the fourth reason I sympathize with traditional Latin Mass uh, Catholics is, you see, St. Paul in Ephesians, he says, Fathers, don't provoke your children to anger. Yes, there's anger in the church. And I, I urge people, don't, don't get into the anger. Um, right now, at a time of a lot of tension, we need to be good to the people in the church who are trying to find their way. There are a lot of young Catholics, traditional Latin Mass Catholics and others, who they're, they're struggling, they're, they have issues that they're upset about in the church, they have questions, and I don't think we should provoke them to anger. I think there should be dialogue, we should, we should be journeying with them, caring for them, trying to understand where they're at, trying to correct some of their extremes or misunderstandings, trying to draw them into the heart of the church rather than pushing them out and provoking them to anger. And I know we see some of that and I don't think the solution is to you know, put more restrictions on, on the traditional Latin mass approach. Now, now again, I, I, I know, I don't know all the implications and realities, the, these decisions being made. There's reasons that I'm not aware of. I understand that and I respect that. Um, but again, the tradition of our Catholic Church is beautiful. We need Orthodox Catholicism. There's so many very good people who love the church. They love the Pope. They love, you know, the, the, the saints. They love the Lord Jesus. And we have to work together. Viva Cristore!